Euston Station in London. And if you're wondering why on earth I'm wearing these things in my hair, there is a reason, because I've been sent on a very fun assignment with Channel Mum and ITV to go and interview some glamorous women. So I thought I would, you know, doll myself up a bit and get rid of the puke-covered clothes for once. So I'm just gonna give you a clue as to where we're going and I'll explain more when I'm on the train. I'd better run though as the train leaves in a minute and I don't wanna miss it, come on. Okay, I've been getting so many weird looks with these things in my hair, so I think it's about time to take them out. But before I do, I'll just tell you a little bit about what we are actually on our way to do. I'm heading up to the ITV studios in Manchester to interview the real housewives of Cheshire. And I must admit, I'm so excited because I'm such a fan of that programme. I love checking out their fashion, I love checking out their homes, what they get up to and imagining all the beauty treatments I would have if I had a few million quid in the bank. So we've got loads of questions to ask them all to do with parenting and their glamorous lives, things like how much they spend on their kids parties. Yes, because we want to know that. Do they go OTT or do they, you know, try and do it on a budget? I wonder. We'll be asking them all the questions you want to know as well as their parenting fails. So I'm really looking forward to it. Before I do my hair, I'm just going to stick on a little bit of makeup because right now I do not look glam enough to meet the real housewife. So I'm going to do some makeup and then finally get these things out of my hair. We're here at Media City and we're in a really fancy swanky bar and it's quite buzzing at the moment. So just getting ready to meet the girls. I'm just about to set up my camera. I've got my little tripod and I'm really looking forward to meeting the girls, but I'm also a little bit nervous because I know that they can be quite feisty sometimes. So I'm just hoping I don't get on the wrong side of Ampika. So wish me luck, here goes. Okay, so I'm joined here by the lovely Tanya, fabulous, and Pika, and Lauren, the lovely Dawn, and Stacey, Leanne. I'm from Channel Mum, and us mums, we have a few questions we want to ask you, you know. There's lots of things we want to know, so. Okay, first question. Let's start off with some alcohol. Uh, so <laughs> when, when the kids are around, is it cocktails or mocktails? Oh, no, two what spiked mocktails <laughs> to send <laughs> her. Helps you deal with the pain of the parenting. <laughs> I wait for that door to close. He's in bed. Next yeah. one! <laughs> Downstairs the fridge. Where's the champagne? Where's the red wine? When Jake's awake, am I going to be able to have a drink? No chance. Are you a cool mum or a bit of an embarrassing mum? Well, my daughter thinks I'm the most embarrassing mum ever. <laughs> I think my son finds me very embarrassing. <laughs> when he saw me in the nurse's outfit, he went, what the hell are you doing? Mum, I went, Jake, I've got a helicopter picking him up in five minutes. He went, what? Who bought me this? That all in one thing, it's got ears and a zebra and a tail. I went to school the other day in it, because I, I literally get out of bed and take her to the bus stop, and the bus was there, and it's just going off. I jumped out the car in front like that, my in this full all in one <laughs> zebra with a tail. Oh my God. And the bus driver said to, to my daughter, Is your mum the real house out of Cheshire? She went, Yes, but it's a zebra. Oh my God. Okay, so next question kids' parties. Do you like a blowout or do you do it on a bit of a budget? Don't have budgets. We, don't have, <laughs> no, we always have massive parties. Um, I used to, I don't anymore. Well, my I can't dad, bear yeah. the school mums. Passive small talk, not for me. Well, so, the mothers don't go. They do. Turn up and drink all my drink and eat all my food. That's me. And <laughs> <laughs> Finish this sentence. Being a mum is... Hard work. <laughs> It's just completed me. I've yeah. liked babies since I was about Being four. Mom's the best thing I ever did. <laughs> you know, this morning when my little girl came in and she gave me a big hug, that feeling is is special. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It's been so lovely to chat Aww. to you. Okay, those girls were brilliant. That was so, so much fun. I honestly could have chatted to them all day. So I've now got a glass of champers. Yes, they've inspired me and I cannot wait until the new series starts. So if you want to check it out, it's going to be on ITVB on the 27th of March. It's a Monday night, remember Monday night, and it's on at 10 o'clock. I cannot wait, but for now, I'm going to enjoy a nice glass of champers. Cheers, Real Housewives of Cheshire.